What is up everyone? In this video, we are going to talk about Bennett from Star Glitter Exchange. The shop refreshed. So for November, we have Bennett and Lisa. Bennett, I would say, is one of the best support you can have, especially when you have a fire DPS. All right, so what is he good for, right? Let's take a look at his skills. So uh, let's take a look at his talents. We don't see anything very special about his normal attacks, right? What makes him one of the best support in the game? So he does some attack. Okay, fine. That's auto. Let's take a look at his E. It says, if you press a single swift flame strike that deals power damage. If you hold, charges up, resulting in different effects when unleashed based on the charge level. Level 1 strikes twice, dealing power damage and launching enemies. Level 2 unleashes three consecutive attacks that deals impressive power damage, but the last attack triggers an explosion that launches both Bennett and the enemy. Bennett takes no damage from being launched. Okay, okay, that doesn't really look special. Still. Alright, let's take a look at Fantastic Voyage. If the health of the character in the circle is equal or falls below 70%, their health will continuously regenerate. Regeneration scales based on Bennett's max HP. Oh, so he can heal. All right. We are going to have to take a look at the multiplier to see if it's really good or not. But it says if the health of the character in the circle is higher than 70%, they gain an attack bonus that is based on Bennett's base attack. Applies the pyro element to characters within the field. Okay, let's take a look at the multiplier. So at level 8, his skill damage is 372%. Continuous regeneration per second, 9.6% max HP, plus 1,083. An attack bonus ratio is 90%. It starts from nearly about maybe 50 to 60. And level 8, you get 90. So it seems to be nice, but then it looks like when you're in this circle, if your HP is below 70%, you get healed up. If you're above 70%, you get attack bonus. And keep that in mind that the attack bonus that you get is the base attack, not the final attack, okay? If that was final attack, that would be too OP. So keep that in mind. And we are going to take a look at his constellation. A lot of people say he's really good. Why? Because this is the only constellation you need for Bennett. And that's why they say he's a very, very good in a budget support. It says Fantastic Voyage, that which is his elemental burst skill. Attack increase no longer has HP restriction and gains an additional 20% base attack. So you have seen 90% from the multiplier for me at level 8. With this, I get 20% base attack, okay? So after that, doesn't really matter. But if you do not want your melee heroes to do pyro damage within the circle, you don't want to do the max constellation. You want to stop at 5. Sword, Claymore, or pole arm wielding characters inside Fantastic Voyage, Radius gains 15% power damage bonus, and Normal and Charge Attack now do power damage. If you don't want that, keep that out, okay? And for the artifacts, a lot of people kind of talk about what is the best on him. A lot of people would be saying, you can use Noblest Set. I totally agree that Noblest Set is one of the best set you can use for Bennett because he's a support. You're not looking for a nice damage with Bennett. He's not going to do a lot of damage. But for me, this is what I did on him. Because his Q heals based off of his max HP, so I gave him all those HP sets for Made Beloved, and he did a lot of healing. He did about 5k healing per tick, and it was amazing. I'm gonna be doing a showcase with Bennett after, but this is him. Even with Made and Beloved set, he does healing, he gives you bonus attack, and it's amazing. It's pretty crazy. So with the Made and Beloved set, with HP percentage for everything, right? He does about 5k healing. And this is the final stats on Bennett. 32k HP. If you want to know how much base attack is going to be transferring to other people with this Q, you want to look at details. And then you look at this white number, okay? He's going to be transferring 626 times however much attack you need to transfer. So at level 8, I was transferring 90%, right? And then with the first constellation, it gives you 20%. So 1.1 1 .1 times 626 is how much attack you're giving to the other heroes. For the weapon, if you can, give him 5 star weapon because the base attack you get from the sword gets added to the base attack. It gets added to the white part, not green part, okay? If the sword has an attack percentage bonus, it gets added to the green. So you don't always have to have like a sword that has attack percentage. So that's why I chose 5 star weapon and he needs energy recharge so that he can kind of spam his Q. Even if you don't have this Skyward Blade, it's totally fine. Try to use the highest star weapon possible. And since he's fire for the elemental resonance, he can use any fire DPS. 
I'll do a showcase on the floor 12 with d -Luke. Let me put Bennett as well. And a very nice showcase for DPS would be Mona, right? I guess I can do Jean. Just don't mind the second half. Let's take a look at the first half. So this is a showcase of Bennett with the Maiden and Beloved set. But I believe as a support, he is the best with Noblesse set. And of course, he wants HP percentage. Okay, we use Q now. Oh. Lots of damage. This is power of Bennett. And let me take some damage on purpose. I mean, I don't even need to take damage on purpose. Just play so that I can get hit. Because I'm a boomer. Okay, I'm getting some damage. Okay, I already lost 7k. I'm at 9k now. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Okay, Bennett is here. Let's get healed up. Do you see 5k healing? Nice. Very nice. No. It was on purpose. I did that on purpose. So that it looks very dramatic. Okay. You can like switch back and forth between Bennett. Use like Q. Okay. Here's my Q. Yeah, this healing amount is just broken. So, once I get a very nice Noblesse set with HP percentage and everything, I think the showcase is gonna be a lot better. No! Did he die? Oh, he almost died. Bennett Q should be up. Oh! And D Luke is at max HP again! Having Jean with Bennett is also very good because she can, like, recharge elemental burst skill on demand almost. Who's the last boss? Oh, okay. Hold E. Nice. That's the full charge, Bennett E. But he's too busy. Switching back and forth. That was 70k. Oh my god. Ooh la la. Alright. So I think that was a good showcase for Bennett. And for those of you who had been probably saving up those star glitter for something else, I would say go for Bennett. If you can afford another copy of Bennett, they'll be the best. If not, it's totally fine. Alright. If you guys have any question or think this video is banned, let me know so I can improve in the future, okay? If you thought this video was useful by any chance, let me know by leaving a like and subscribe to my channel, alright? I'll see you guys later. Adios! <laughs>